Welcome to The Church Universal and Triumphant by Michaela Cheney and Grace Montgomery. To begin with, we're going to start with The Church Universal and Triumphant with its history in California. The beginning of The Church Universal and Triumphant only naturally starts with the parent religion, the Summit Lighthouse. Mark Prophet started the Summit Lighthouse in the year 1957 after El Moria, one of the Ascended Masters, spoke to him beginning the worldwide movement. As an overview, the Summit Lighthouse held a synchronistic set of beliefs involving Theophany, I Am Movement, and New Age Thought, a culmination of Buddhism, Christianity, esoteric mysticism, the paranormal, and alchemy, as well as anti-communism. Elizabeth Clare Prophet was a student at Boston College studying political science when she met and married Mark Prophet in 1963. Together they became the Prophets, and not just by their last name, but deemed so by the teachers of the Ascended Masters. In 1973, Mark Prophet died and Elizabeth was left by herself as the sole Prophet of the Ascended Masters. Mark Prophet became an Ascended Master named Lanello, a sort of ever-present guru. Elizabeth was left with the challenge of trying to create a more feminine perspective to the Church. She successfully accomplished this by creating the Mother to God's Father counterpart taken from Mary Jesus' mother. She herself became the Divine Mother, which allowed her to be justified as the leader. In 1974, she was called by Jesus to found the Church Universal and Triumphant. Not only did the name change, but a change in membership hierarchy occurred as well. This indicated the beginning of the Church Universal and Triumphant as we know it today. They began in Colorado Springs, but in 1976 moved to Pasadena to the former Nazarene Church. Their stay in Pasadena was short-lived and moved to the Santa Monica Mountains, where they bought an old Catholic monastery, which had formerly been owned by the manufacturer King Gillette. They then deemed it Camelot, after the tale of King Arthur, most likely named because of Lanello, or Mark Prophet. While well, at Camelot, they became under attack from an anti-cult group, which deemed them as brainwashing their members. Despite this, they were still very prosperous, and their membership remained as stable, if not continued to increase. After Mark died, Elizabeth remarried to Randall King, who later caused problems by deciding to sue the church for involuntary servitude, while at the same time, two other ex-members were suing the church for brainwashing. Unfortunately, they won the case, and Elizabeth Prophet owed them money. At the same time, in 1986, she began to see visions of four horsemen of the apocalypse. Soon afterwards, she saw a vision from El Moria. Ere twenty-four months have passed, be it known to you that this nation must have the capacity to turn away any and all missiles. Warning of a nuclear strike. St. Germain gave a very dark warning as well. You have every reason to believe, to be prepared for, and to expect a first strike attack by the Soviet Union upon these United States. The enemy is prepared, though the United States is not. To the lawsuit and visions, they packed up and moved to Gardner, Montana, where they prepared for the nuclear attack. Seven ascended masters, or Chohans, that teach the seven paths to individual or personal Christhood. The first, El Moria, represents the godly attributes of courage, certainty, power, forthrightness, self-reliance, dependability, faith, and initiative. The second, Lord Lanto, is on the yellow ray of illumination, concerned with the education of the heart and the illumination of the youth of the world. The third, Paul the Venetian, on the ray of divine love, the pink flame sponsors the Ascended Master culture for this age and works with all who desire to manifest that culture in the arts. The fourth, Serapis Bay, teaches the path to the Ascension and assists his students in the self-disciplines of the four lower bodies that are necessary for the Ascension. Five, Hilarion, a healing master on the green ray of health, precipitation, and truth. He instructs us on the relationship between science and religion, both of which are aspects of the green ray of truth. Six, Lady Master Nada. She's on the ray of ministration, service, and peace. She is involved in the initiation and sponsorship of twin flames and the Aquarian Age of Family. Last, Saint Germain, on the ray of freedom, mercy, transmutation, and ritual. He holds a very important position as the hierarch of the Aquarian Age and teaches seekers the science of divine alchemy and transmutation. The physical heart of the world's religions is the identity of the true self the understanding of the self is the most important insight that any individual can have in life. The self begins with the permanent atom of being, the cause out of which the effect proceeds. We call this cause the I am that I am, the presence of the I am, or the I am presence. What was revealed to Moses is one, this is God's name forever that he has given to each and every one of us. The sacred name of God is an empowerment. And secondly, it is a memorial. 
God gave us the image of himself, the divine image, so that we would have a memory of his presence as we journeyed through these dense spheres of illusions on our mission to reunite with our twin flame, to fulfill our mission together, balance karma, and transcend the lower octaves, returning to higher spheres and golden ages we once knew. God saw us in the plight of having forgotten where we came from, who we were, how we began in the beginning. So he sent us a memory of himself, a memorial. He sent to each one of us his I am presence. This flame is an invisible spiritual energy, the seventh ray of the Holy Spirit that appears violet to those who have developed their spiritual vision. Saints and adepts of East and West have long used the violet flame to accelerate their spiritual development. But this one secret knowledge was not revealed to the masses until the 20th century. The violet flame revitalizes and invigorates us. The violet flame changes negative energy into positive energy. By transforming negative thoughts and feelings, the violet flame provides a platform for our healing. We were fortunate enough to chat with Erin Prophet, the daughter of Elizabeth, via email in which she recommended her book, The Prophet's Daughter, a memoir of her time growing up in the church with her mother as the leader. She remembered that most of the people had come from another religion before entering into the Church of Universal and Triumphant, and most had come from New Age groups, including Buddhists and Hindu sects. She also talked about the description of what she called our people. To emphasize her point, she described that she had met them all over the globe, including Africa and Sweden. She described to us a little about what they wore and how they were identified, indicating that they wore mostly purples and ameth amethyst, which is a spiritual color to them. Besides the color that they wore, there mostly was just a demeanor about them that displayed their allegiance to the church. Thank you for watching and we hope you liked our video.